welcome back to the channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Tanelia, and on this channel, um, I will be focusing on um, the purchase of our new construction home, which we recently closed on um, a little less than a month ago. So I want to take you all on this journey as I, as I furnish and decorate um, this new house. If you haven't had an opportunity to um, watch the empty house tour, I'll link that below so you can see kind of the lay of the land when it comes to this house. Um, just kind of give you some specs. It's a five bedroom, four and a half bath, 3,900 square feet with an additional 3,300 square feet in the unfinished basement. So for this video, I'm gonna show you some items that I have for the living room and for the kitchen. These are like really big furniture pieces that I received over the course of the last several months um, because while we were waiting for the house to get constructed, um, I was given some great advice by a lot of different people because I was gonna wait until we moved into the new house to start purchasing furniture, but after realizing about the supply chain and the financial burden of furnishing a house at one time, I decided to go ahead and start buying things sporadically. So I started buying furniture in September of last year. And you would be amazed on that furniture did not arrive until maybe like two weeks ago. That's how bad the, the supply chain is right now. But anyway, so I wanna show you some of these large furniture pieces that we received for the living room. And I wanna show you the bar suits we received for the kitchen. And what I forgot to show you in the previous video was the fireplace. Remember we had some trim right down the fireplace, we got it painted. So I want to reveal that to you today as well. So let me turn the camera around so you can see everything that we purchased and I can walk you through the pieces in exactly where they come from. Okay, I have flipped the camera around and the first item I wanna show you all are these um, counter stools. Um, you know, you can get stools and counter and bar height. So with this island, it's counter height. And so therefore we got counter stools. Let me just bring you around so you can see what they look like. Crazy enough, I saw this, these counter stools advertised on YouTube <laughs> um, for Ballard Designs. And I actually got these lights here too from Ballard Designs. I'm not sure if I pointed those out. Those are some pendant lights that I got from Ballard's. Actually, I, just, I was in the store just kind of browsing around. I said, oh, I like those. They're not like your typical glass pendant lights for over the, over the counter or over your island. When I saw them, I immediately knew that I wanted to have them in our kitchen. But let me focus, get back <laughs> to the stew. So I saw an advertisement um, on YouTube and I said, oh my gosh, I really like those stools because I knew that we were gonna be going with like a warm gold, brassy color and um, in the kitchen area and also in the living room. So when I saw these, I was like, these are perfect. And they're a performance fabric too, so they should be fairly easy to clean. I have not scotch guarded them yet. I plan on doing that. I bought one can. I was like, I'm not sure this one can is gonna be enough, so I need to head back to Target or Walmart and get a few more cans. Um, but yeah, these stools are absolutely gorgeous. Just want you all to see what they look like. And they are very, very comfortable. I sat in them when I was in the store and I just so happened to get these stools um, when there was a 20% off sale and free shipping. This was one of the items that was actually in stock. Um, you know, with a lot of times the furniture is like a couple of weeks, a couple of months, several months, but these were actually in stock and they ship maybe four or five days after I placed the order. So I just wanted to show you what they look like and they can snap on and off here. So if I need to, you know, take them off or, you know, wipe them off, I can, I can easily take them off. But yeah, these are really nice. I, my husband and I sit at these almost every day since our table hasn't come in and the girls are using our old 
um, breakfast nook table to sit. So we sit here and kind of watch the girls, but I love these. When I first saw them, I said, oh, I have to have them. And then you can go read the reviews. I think they're called the Alistair um, stool. You read the reviews, they have excellent reviews. And it just goes absolutely perfectly with this um, with this island, with that, the color that is iron ore by Sherwin Williams, just in case anyone uh, wants to know. So next up is the family room. And there's going to be a lot to take in here because I have a lot of different furniture pieces and I still have things in boxes. There's like a huge mirror that's supposed to be going into um, this entryway, but I don't have the table for it. So I haven't even taken it out. I probably just need to take a look at it and make sure it's not broken. But let me get back to um, the living room. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to start with is this huge mirror. And this is the mirror from Anthropology, the Primrose mirror. It's like the seven foot tall mirror and you've probably seen this on everybody's instagram page youtube tiktok but i must say it does not disappoint and i hadn't actually saw this like on social media at all i just so happened to be in the anthropology store and i was like oh my goodness i just love it but i did get it when it was um 30 off and it was free shipping and that was maybe back in February. I'm not sure why they were having a sale because I heard with this mirror they usually only have a sale on it in November for Black Friday. So I got a great deal. I think I got a great deal off of it. So when I saw it in the store, of course I got on handy dandy Google and I started to look at the reviews and just look it up, you know, look at the specifications on it. And then I just saw that so many people had it. So I was able to see it in other people's spaces and I, and I definitely understand the hype about it. And I was considering moving the mirror to either our bedroom and I'm gonna say our, my husband and I's bedroom or my office. Um, but everybody that comes over here is like, no, you need to leave this here. It's like a piece of art within itself. I think I'm gonna make my mind up in the next couple of days and, and then get my husband to bolt it to the wall. I mean, it's very, very heavy. I don't see it tipping over, but we have two little ones and they run a lot. So I wanna make sure that they don't have any accidents. So yeah, that is the mirror. So that's one piece that came. And you probably see in the reflection of this mirror, some other things that are going on in the living room. So let me turn the camera around this way. And this is the fireplace we decided to go with the exact same color as our island and let me let you see that again which is that iron ore because we wanted to tie the two spaces and then we wanted to have something a color that just pops out because before the fireplace just blended in into the wall and if i can pop up a picture i'll show you what that looks like um, that the fireplace before it was painted and we add the trim work but we are definitely happy with it it adds a little flavor to the fireplace hopefully we won't get tired of the color but if we do it just paint and we'll just paint over it something that we did notice that's going on with the fireplace because we use wood and so this wood is starting to expand after it's been here for you know a few um weeks so the wood is starting to expand and we're starting getting like a few peaks of that cream that is coming out so we'll probably have to go over you know do a few touch-ups because the the contracts when they here they did touch up paint they painted one day and they came back and did touch-ups but since then the wood has expanded um because as you all probably are aware of you know wood Typically it expands, but it's not a, a big deal. You know, I think it'd be an easy fix, you know, something that my husband and I can do in a couple of hours, which I'm touching up the paint, but we'll probably do that. Maybe give it a few more weeks before we touch up the paint, just in case it expands a little bit more. And I will show you this cabinet. And these are cabinets that we got from Restoration Hardware. I went to their showroom 
um, in Atlanta and I didn't see these particular cabinets, but they just have so many beautiful cabinets, you know, very, very high um, as well as far as like the height of them. These are 91 inches high. I wanted to even go taller with the cabinets, but if we went taller, we would have had to go wider. And if we went any wider, we wouldn't have enough walk space, you know, because we don't we didn't want it to feel super tight. So we stuck with the 91 inch because over here on this side, there is more space. And I'll probably get like a nice big plant to go over here, maybe a birds of paradise or olive tree, you know, something, add some greenery to um, the space because I do want to add like those natural elements, those nature elements rather to the area. So in instead of doing the built-ins, we decided to do cabinets and we'll probably put something above the cabinets. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a mirror, I'm gonna put a piece of art, some test lighting or some accent lighting rather on top of those. And let me go up closer so you can see. And these are like a brass. They're not gold, they're not bronze, they're kind of brassy. And they're at the bottom as well. So let me open the cabinet. We can move the shelving up. It's very easy to move. I just have to move that piece there, move it up, and then I just put the shelf on top of it. And then down here is some clothes storage, which would conceal some things if we wanted to you know, put like some throw blankets or odds and ends down there. We have some storage, so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be decorated. So the next item I wanna show you are these chairs. And you've probably seen me walk back and forth <laughs> by these chairs and some of the other videos that I've put up. Um, Cause they were just kind of sitting here or maybe one of us sitting here. And these are genuine leather. After doing a search on Wafer, looking for some leather chairs, not just Wafer, I was looking all over the place trying to find leather chairs because I knew I wanted to have like a leather element. I didn't want like a leather sofa in this family room, but I wanted to have some leather chairs. And when I saw these, I said, oh, okay, I think those are, those are work, you know, they're leather, but they have like a modern touch to them with the, with the gold legs. And let me go around to the back here so you can see with these legs or the back of the chair rather, um, looks like. These are a dupe of some restoration hardware chairs, which cost maybe about $4,000 per chair. The restoration hardware is not cheap. When I saw these chairs, I said, you know what? I think I've seen those chairs before. I, I've seen something similar. And then it came back to me, I said, oh, I saw those on restoration hardware. Yeah, so I got these from Wayfair. If I can link them, I'll link them, but I tried to look earlier today and I cannot find them. So I'm not sure if they've taken them off the website or what, but they got really good reviews because I'm a review person. I like to see what other people have to say. I like to see pictures and kind of see them in other people's spaces. And just FYI, I forgot to mention, when we purchased these, they were on a final sale. So they was maybe like 50, 60% off of the original price, um, which is a great deal for restoration hardware. The only thing is I took a gamble since they were final sale is that I couldn't return them unless it was like some damage to them. But if I decided oh, I don't like them anymore, I wanna return them, they would have been like, no. So I took a gamble going with the final sale um, because I just knew Restoration Hardware was very, very expensive, but it was a sale that I just could not beat. I ordered them around December and they came maybe two weeks ago. And this is the last thing, and I still have plastic on this, so I apologize if you can't really get the full view of it. Um, it's this couch. I got this from World Market. It's very similar to the cloud couch, 
well, I'm gonna say similar, but it's supposed to be reminiscent of the of the cloud couch. Um, I think it's a little bit more firm than the cloud couch. I have sat on that before, and I didn't want it. I didn't want the cloud couch. I'm not saying anything is wrong with the cloud couch, but um, I didn't want to just fall into the sofa. I sat on this in a World Market store. They had the navy blue one. And when I sat on I said, oh, this is comfortable. It's really, really comfortable. Cause I was kind of hesitant. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want something that's, you know, has feathers in there, but it's more than just feathers in there. You know, it's, they have other materials that makes it firmer. And so far we like it. Um, really, I've been sitting on it. My husband's been sitting on it. The girls really haven't been sitting on it. The only thing that I didn't notice in the store was that it has like a really low back. Cushion itself isn't low, so you don't feel like, oh, wow, I'm like sitting on the floor. From the back, I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of low. So what I decided to do, I got this sofa table or a console table. I'm using it as a sofa table from Target. It's part of the... Studio McGee line, and they had this one on sale for like $140. I think the original price was $200, and it was on sale for $140, and the ship came in about three days. It was very easy to put together. My husband put it together maybe in 15 minutes. I mean, super easy to put together. And by the way, this couch, when I purchased it, I purchased it when I, per when I got a lot of world market furniture. I'll show you some of the other furniture I have from World Market in future videos. This right here was 25% off. And I, so it was a pretty decent deal. And I really like the couch. And I, I bought some pillows. And I want to show you what those pillows look like. I, I'm gonna flip the camera around in just a minute so you can see what those pillows look like. But I just wanna kinda go over and show you what everything looks like again So the first thing I want to show you is this pillow cover that I got. And this is a 22 by 22 pillow cover. And I saw this at Pottery Barn. Um, I bought a lot of, of the patio outside furniture from Pottery Barn, not Pottery Barn, from West Elm. And so they, West Elm and Pottery Barn, my sister store. So I accumulate some rewards points. And so those rewards points were burning a hole in my pocket and I wanted to use them. Plus some of them were about to expire. So a girlfriend of mine and I, we went to the Pottery Barn store to see what they had as far as pillows. And I said, oh, this would probably be perfect. And I'm not trying to be matchy match or anything, but you know, with the sofa, you know, the warm brown, this is like a charcoal. So I feel like it would bring the rooms together. It would be kind of cohesive. So. A lot of times I start with one pillow and kind of work my way around that one pillow. So with this, I got this pillow cover. I have two of these, by the way. And I have some, um, and with Pottery Barn, they do not, their pillow covers do not come with pillow inserts. So I had to buy some, I bought those from Amazon. I was gonna purchase some from the Pottery Barn store because they were only like a dollar difference, but they didn't have the size of, or they had it just wouldn't be here until June. And I said, I'm, I don't have to wait on pillow inserts. I can find those anywhere. And I got this pillow cover. Um, it doesn't match exactly, which is which is absolutely fine. Um, I got the pillow cover and I got the pillow insert from Pottery Barn too, because they did have this in stock. And by the way, I, have, I still have the tags on here just in case I, take, I change my mind. I've been kind of living with these for the last week. Um, so I still wanna, you know, just see how everything flows together. But I got this pillow insert, and this is a 20 by 20. And I also have one of these, which is a 20 by 20. And if you all can see how this all just kind of goes together, 
and I'll show it to you what it looks like on the couch. So these are for the couch. So I have one of these, one of these, and moving over. Then I have this leather pillow, and I actually got this off of the Home Goods website. It was a Home Goods website, a Marshall's website, and this is a 20 by 20. I had originally purchased the 22 by 22. Um, but it was just way too big for what I was trying to do. So I got two of these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it with this or if I'm gonna use this one um, with my, my anchor pillow. But I think I can use, if I don't use it on a couch, I can use it somewhere in the house, like maybe in the mud bench or at the breakfast, having any breakfast nuts. We do have a bench um, for that. I can't wait to show you all what that looks like. It's, it's beautiful. Of course it hasn't come in yet, but I'll show it to you when it comes. Let me show you some other pillows that I have. So I got this lumbar pillow for the couch. I got this from Target. And the day when I went into Target, which was maybe about a week ago, they had all of their pillows and decorative items 15% uh, off. So I said, oh, this is my lucky day. And I probably received the email, but sometimes I don't check my email all the time when it comes to different retail stores, but it was just my luck that Target had 15% uh, off um, all of their decorative items, including their, their pillows. So a couple other pillows I bought from Target. I bought this, this pillow is a boucle pillow. It's not gonna go in the living room. I just like it. I mean, I like boucle. I'm not sure if I'm bold enough to do like a sofa or a chair this shit. So I figured why not just do a pillow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see what it looks like in the mud area, the mud room area. So I'm just gonna hold on to it and just think about it for, you know, another week or so. And then I also have these, when I say these, I have two of these. I have um, these small lumbar pillows for those leather chairs. So it has like this plaid pattern on this side and then it's striped on the other side. So I can add it either way. You can do striped or I can do plaid. And I think it, it you know, plays off really well um, with this pillow either side. And even though these um, these pillow covers and pillows came from different stores, um, I don't mind you know, going to different stores and finding things that go together. Um, it would just so happen that I found a lot of these pillow covers from for the couch at Pottery Barn, but some of the other pillows I found at Target and I found at Home Goods. So I like to kind of mix and match pillows and you know shop at different stores for things to come together so let me show you um what these look like i gotta put the pillow inserts from amazon i have to put them in these pillow covers and then i'll show you what it looks like with those pillows um, on the couch here we go here's the couch with the four Pottery Barn pillows and the Target pillow. Let me straighten this up just a little bit. It's okay. Oh, tag. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna have to steam at the bottom because as you can see, it's, it's kind of wrinkled. Cause it's supposed to be it was supposed to look like the couch that is. It's supposed to look as if it's one of those covered couches, but it's really not, but it kind of supposed to look like it. So it needs to be steamed a little bit. So once I take the plastic off, like I said before, I apologize for this plastic, plastic you're not getting like the full view of it, but I need to scotch guard it first before, well, I need to scotch guard it immediately after I take the plastic off and I have not, purchase that scotch guard yet so I want to just leave it on until I do that and you're probably thinking like why did you buy this light furniture if you have two little ones and the reason is I wanted to <laughs> I don't know any I don't have another explanation for that but I like light furniture I like creams and beiges 
Um, it's just a very, very neutral palette um, that you can create a lot of stuff on. I didn't want like a black sofa or, I didn't want any of those things. I wanted a cream sofa. So I'm willing to face the consequences if anything was to happen to the sofa or those chairs. Um, I have more light furniture coming, by the way. So we'll see. Hopefully the girls, you know, they'll behave. But let me get back to the pillows. So this is what the pillows look like. And then let me show you the pillows over here on the chairs. Just so you can get a view of both of them together. There it is. Let me flip over these pillows so you can see the, the plaid side. Hopefully I'm not making anyone dizzy. So there it is, the plaid side. And I also wanna show you what that leather pillow looks like on the sofa. So I'm gonna show you right now. Here it is with the leather pillow. What do you think? Kind of, I kind of like option A better than the leather because I don't I don't want it to be too much leather. I mean, it's only one pillow, but I'm kind of indecisive right now. Both of them look good. I, I can't admit both look good. One other thing I wanted to mention to you is I'm not sure about furniture placement. Leave the sofa here and, and leave the chairs where they are or will I put you know, one chair there and a chair here where it's kind of diagonal is coming in. My husband thinks that we should leave the furniture as is and then get like a bench to put here because we want to anchor the space, but we don't want anything super high where it is blocking the view from the mirror and the chairs because we do want the chairs to kind of be a part of the space you know what i have some like some footstools they're kind of small so i'm not sure if they're gonna work they probably won't work but i just want to give you all the idea what that may look like so let me show you that <laughs> okay these are way too small but i wanted you all to have an idea like a visual of what we may be going for. But I think a bench would probably be much better there. It probably needs to be pushed back just a little bit more. Maybe a bench or some ottomans that are bigger if we go with ottomans, or if we go with more chairs, something that has a low profile. I don't know, there's a lot of different options. If y'all have any suggestions, you know, please let me know in the comments below. So just another quick view of the living room. Here's the sofa, it's with that leather pillow, and then those are the bar stools back there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you stayed to the end, I really appreciate it. It was a lot going on, but it was a lot that I had to share. A lot of things, a lot of things that I wanted to discuss with you all. Um, the next video, I'll probably have, maybe it'll be a haul or some more furniture that I receive. Um, so if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, turn on your bell notifications because I'm gonna try to upload as much content as I can, at least once a week. Um, so I have a lot of content coming out over the next several weeks and even months because I've already listed some things down and I have a lot of content. Like I stated in my first video, this house is pretty big. Um, so it's gonna take me a while to kind of go through all of the rooms and I wanna take you all along on that journey. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, um, I appreciate you. Um, and if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.